Hey there, my name's Lacey. I'm the owner and founder of Rainbow Parrot Art. I teach super fun live online art workshops for kids as well as for adults. You can find out more information by visiting my website, rainbowparrotart.com. Today we're gonna design cupcake castles. So you're gonna want a large piece of paper and draw your design in pencil first. I'm going to use ultra fine sharpies so that you can see the marks on my paper. The first thing I'm going to design in the center of my paper is a large base of a cupcake holder, a door, some licorice framing the door, some windows, and frosting. Once you've designed your cupcake, you can add some kind of sprinkles. I'm gonna do another cupcake on the side of the house. And a double layer cupcake with extra frosting over here. Now add some sprinkles and a cherry on top. I'm gonna design a giant ice cream cone in the front yard, a gumball machine tower. I'm gonna do a peppermint candy sky bridge connecting my gumball tower and my double-decker cupcake. Okay. I'm gonna do a flying cupcake in the sky. I'm gonna do a flying ice cream cone over here. Cupcake chimney! I'm gonna do a couple candy canes in my front yard. Peppermints on the side of my house. Gonna add a few lollipops behind my house. Giant one. Gonna add a donut in my front yard. It's missing a bite. Grass there. And very colorful candy stepping stones. Make sure you have a line going across your page. This is very important. This is called a horizon line. And this is what makes it look like your house isn't just floating in space. So it, we can clearly see where the ground ends and the sky begins. So make sure you have a line going across your page. I'm also gonna add a few cotton candy clouds. And I'm gonna add some gumdrops in my front yard. Okay. When you're done drawing your picture, you can go back and outline it with an ultra fine Sharpie. After you have finished outlining with Sharpie, go back and erase all of your pencil marks. Once you're done erasing your pencil marks, you can color in your picture using colored pencils, watercolored pencils, or markers. All right, I'm gonna do a quick lesson on how to draw a lollipop. So here's the ground. Here's the base, the stick of the lollipop. Do a circle like that and then a swirl, 
So over here I'll show you how to color in a lollipop. I usually do it in stripes. So this one I'm alternating green stripes and I'm following that swirl all the way around. So I'm gonna go back and fill this in with an alternate color now. This is a great project to practice blending colors. On this cotton candy cloud, I'm gonna be blending a couple different shades of purple with blue. Using a darker purple at the bottom. And then I'm gonna blend some blue up into the top. I'm gonna do rainbow candy canes right here. I'm gonna try slightly different colors on this one. Now I'm gonna blend some purple and pink at my base. and color in my gumdrops. I'm going to use green watercolor to fill in the grass. So I'm taking the color from the palette and adding it to my watercolor tray. And then I'm watering it down with water to make the color lighter. If I take the color directly from the watercolor tray, it's gonna be a little darker than I want it to be. So that's why I'm doing this. Now I'm adding a very light pink and orange sunset in my background. Yay, it's all finished. Be sure to check out my other videos. I offer super fun live online art workshops for kids as well as for adults. You can find out more information by visiting my website, rainbowparrotart.com. Extra thanks to my mom and my niece, Mara, for helping with this video.